In a video that I made recently on the Blender channel, I started deforming the monkey with a cloth brush and it just makes some wrinkles that I think it might have inspired a question in the comments that goes like, can we add a bone to animate? I'm thinking facial wrinkles. So I replied, yes, it's the cloth brush is basically just deforming the mesh. So yeah, you could make it into a shape key that is controlled by a driver, bone or a setting. And it's it's very straightforward and but the way I I, I said that is like I can just make a video because it's really really simple and it's the basics of adding a bone or driver to control a shape key in the character so for example let's go to sculpt mode and I have the cloth and I'm gonna have the pinch point here um, type of deformation so that way when I start drawing I see I'm drawing wrinkles and we want to have this uh, the original skin for example and then when she smiles or something she's going to trigger the wrinkles so the wrinkles should be a shape key shouldn't be all the time should be one state of the of the of the character of the mesh so i just added a new um shape key i'm going to call it wrinkles and i set it to one otherwise you don't see it in the viewport you can also simply pin it and then whatever change you do you're going to see them immediately so here i'm adding a few wrinkles this this uh, brush is perfect for that you can just well maybe you can push it too much but yeah you can basically do all kind of weird um shapes so this change is now part of my shape key if i remove the shape key put it to zero it's gone this value we can drive it with anything we could drive it with a bone with a with a setting with anything let's try it with a bone so right click add it on the slider that you want to drive add a driver and here you want to use a um, an object a bone right like um, an armature so first i need to have that armature otherwise i don't i'm not gonna see it so let's add a armature and Usually you want to have a rigging for the whole face right here and basically it's just adding one bone for this one example and um, The benefit of having a bone is that you can animate it in the same action Because bones are animated in actions or the keyframes are stored in actions and you can animate it in the same um, Way that you animate the rest of the body. So in this case now I have an armature I have a bone and let's set it um, so let's set this driver so right click edit driver and as a type you want it to be average value because you just have the, the value of the rotation or the location of the bone as an input you want a object in this case is the armature and inside of the armature you have a bone in this case is the bone is called bone you want to name your things so the type um, you can be X location so it means that if I move this in uh, post mode it's gonna trigger that in the X location so horizontally it should trigger it and uh, let's see if it does and it does you can see here in this area that is not um, not very visible and until I start moving the bone and it triggers the wrinkle so to make it more obvious we can basically just make it instead of the X location it could be something like the rotation for example and instead of being in world space it should be in local space because it means that in no matter if I can rotate the whole um, the whole bone or the whole armature before in in, glo in world space and then um, the effect would only apply when I move it in local space so i have more freedom to move the object around without worrying that it will trigger stuff so now if i rotate it in x i should trigger the wrinkle and i can animate this of course i can just simply add a keyframe and then i can go a few other frames if we go here to the timeline and then i rotate it in x and then insert another keyframe so we basically are animating this this works for any any setting really you can animate settings inside of your materials um, inside of the node setups for example anything anywhere so it's pretty powerful all right i hope that was clear and i'll see you again in the next video